We're just about set. Great spectacle. The two-mile Schweppes Sydney Cup. Here's Darren Flindell. Well, the running of the Schweppes Sydney Cup. Military mission now up to the outside. And we're just about ready to go. There's the light now. Here we go. The Sydney Cup. Stand by. And they're off and racing. Oh, one's flopped out of the gates. A clear last was a maid. A maid is ten lengths out the back and Major Bill, last year's derby winner, jumped brilliantly. Carla pour away nicely in second and Ma Rajan goes forward out deep on the outside of Manzois. Then came Serpentine, who's a few lengths off the lead in the early part and is going between runners. Stockman it's outside. Circle of Fire's firing up a little bit in the early stages. Followed by Glentane is buried down on the rails. Ash run in the middle of the ruck. They're followed further back by Loft down on the fence. Uh, further back in the field then to Athabaskan who's on a three wide par from So Dazzling then came Salino, mostly cloudy a mate's recovered after the tardy start and has put military mission now back in last position rolling down towards the post, it's Major Beale and Stockman and the pace is alright here Major Beale from Stockman we don't often see Stockman eyeballing a front runner, he's a half length away with one lap to go, this dual New Zealand Cup winner over two miles, Mark Rajan in a very handy third, in advance of and Zoyce, and then came Carla Poor fifth. Now the favourite circle of fires on a three-wide path has been keen in the early stages, so Andrea Ratzini allows the favourite to slide forward circle of fire. Serpentine getting close to heels, one off the fence. Athabaskan in the dark blue cap the outside. They're followed by Loft on the inside of Ash Runner. Further back to Salino from So Dazzling. Our third last is mostly cloudy from Amaid, and last of all is Military Mission, so it's made Major Bill shaking off Stockman now, going to the mile mark, and Major Bill's got the lead on his own now by two and a half to Stockman. Ma Rajan into a clear third as they work down the back of the course now. Circle of Fire puts his head into fourth position on the outside of Manzois and Carla Poor. Now further back then to Athabaskan, who's on a wider path, gradually improving. They're followed further back to Glen Tanius, who's down towards the inside running rail, and the inside is Serpentine. Two lengths further back to Loft on the inside of Ash Runner. Then came Salino, who won the Sydney Cup here three years ago. It's parked down on the inside of So Dazzling. Then mostly cloudy from a maid, and military mission is still last of all. The Sydney Cup field thundered away. The race started, and it's Major Bill in front by three quarters to Stockman, followed by Circle of Fire edging into a clear third, but in a three wide position. Then Manzois, Maharaj, and in between runners, Athabaskan three wide with a bit of cover. Further Further back to Carla Poor, buried down on the inside of Serpentine. Further back to Ash Run. Now Rachel King starting a runner, mostly cloudy up wide of the 600 metres. Loft is going between runners as they come up to the home turn. Now Major Beale in front by a length and a half. Manzois travels up nicely on the inside. Circle of fire looping. Athabaskans chiming in. Uh, further back to Serpentine. Ash Run, mostly cloudy down the outside. It's Circle of Fire tackled by Athabaskan. A length off to Serpentine, Circle of Fire, Ath Carla Poor's running on on the inside, but Circle of Fire with a strong kick, 100 out, Circle of Fire beating off Athabaskan, and Circle of Fire for Andre Adzetti takes out the Sydney Cup, won it by two and a half to Athabaskan, photo third, probably Carla Poor in front of Serpentine, a gap back to Selena, mostly clouding, a good gap then to Ash Runner, followed by Maiders, beat uh, about half the field home at the end from Loft, so Dazzling, then Stockman, Glentanius, Military Mission, Major Bill, got a big stitch, so did Manzois. Mar Rajan didn't stay the trip today. This is such a, an emotional win. There's a deep story to this. Circle of fire, Andrea Azzeni. I am looking right now at the, the parents of Stefano Cerchi. He is a very emotional man right now, the Italian-born jockey that we lost only a few weeks ago. Andrea Zeni came back to Australia, flew in to be at his bedside, flew back to Hong Kong, came back for the memorial, flew back to Hong Kong, and then Kieran Marshan had an SOS to get him back here for the Sydney Cup when he didn't have a rider. Divine intervention 
but emotional times for the family of Stefano Churchy here at Ramwick today. So back to the horse, Ronnie. He is almost impossible to beat Kieran Maher in staying races. Oh, that's a performance. Uh, that was a brute. That horse uh, couldn't get in anywhere. And even when they quickened, he, he, he couldn't do anything about it by keeping balance. And he's three wide on top of that speed for most of the two mile with no cover. That's a serious stayer, that. That is a serious, serious horse to do what he just did. A young horse, inexperienced. It's still all happening for him. And um, what a result. And, uh, uh, and for Andrea as well, I'm sure he's going to get a kick out of that. And um, for a good mate. Yeah, it's uh, great scenes. You talk about racing gods, Ronnie, and that was just meant to be. You know, like you said, he was having no luck. He travelled three wide. He kept the horse balance, just to let it go through the motions, go through its gears. But again, back to the racing gods, that was just meant to be. It gives me shivers. OK, well, Stefano's parents, and I'm just waiting for Andrea Antony to come back. You can see him wearing the black armband for Stefano, one of his great friends. And here he comes back, this world-class jockey. He's about to set sights on the Churchy family and one for Stefano. He now wins a Group 1 in eight different countries, Andrea Adzeni. Today will mark his 31st career Group 1 win and he adds Group 1 wins now in Australia to his 16 in Great Britain, his 4 in Ireland, his 3 in France, his 3 in Canada, his 2 in Dubai and his 1 each in Italy and Germany. Now he has to find the the scales, which he's never seen before here at Royal Ramwick. But I tell you what, he's going to be quite emotional when he sets sight on uh, Stefano Churchy's parents, who are just behind the scales. They're directly behind the scales. And he might take a while to get there because Kieran Ma wants to <laughs> speak with him. And we'll stay with, we'll stay with Andrea who no doubt is going to go and, and see Stefano Churchy's parents as well straight after he gets on the scales. Another career group one in this young jockey's career. He spotted them now. Jolene, the favourite here.